since you've been the, the CEO, the stock has gone up roughly 330%. The market capitalization is up roughly 280%. Uh, another company that you compete with, General Dynamics, has a female CEO as well, and their stock is up about 250% since she became um, uh, the CEO. That's Phoebe Novakovic. Um, do you think that women can run defense companies better than men, or they can run all companies better than men? I'm just looking at the audience. Who, how many women are out there clapping? But. Uh, David, oh. <laughs> I would just say, uh, David, it's a team sport. It isn't, it isn't all about me on, on the performance of our company, but I'm really proud about what our team has been able to accomplish over the last five, six years. I'm in my sixth year as CEO. So, so when you walk into the shareholders' meetings, do they give you a standing ovation? It must be pretty happy. We have some happy shareholders, yes, but they always, you know, they always keep, keep a beat on us to make sure that we, we're constantly creating value. So it's, it's what have you done for me lately. Okay. So, um, okay, during the transition of the President of the United States, Donald Trump sent out a tweet saying that your biggest product, the F-35, was too expensive. And I think you were out of the country at the time? I was. I was in Israel where we were delivering their first two F-35s. So what was your reaction to the President of the United States tweeting that you were charging the U.S. government too much? Well, first of all, we needed to, to get those aircraft delivered, and, and you know, one of the most interesting things was that Prime Minister Netanyahu, he was at that event, and he asked me about the fact that our new president was going to get a better price on those aircraft, and you know, maybe he should get a rebate on the ones that we were delivering. So. That presented a bit of a challenge, but uh, you know, we, you know, what was important was to recognize what our president-elect was communicating. I mean, he was trying to communicate to the American people that he was going to be, that he was going to get good deals on the equipment that he purchased, and and that he was going to increase defense spending, but he was going to make sure that he spent the taxpayers' dollar wisely. And so uh, we, so, I personally engaged, my team engaged to have a chance to have a dialogue with him. So you did give him a little discount. We drove the price down. Yes, we got you know we got the deal done, and we did okay. it in an accelerated fashion, and we and he he definitely had an influence on that.